I imagine some of you predictive fans out there are getting a little frustrated with my lack of progress or updates on my various predictive projects. So here you go. Now, although I haven't done much more in the way of restoring the electronics or the cabinets, I have not been idle. In particular, I found a couple items. This is one of the first vintage sets I ever got a little over five years ago. And it was missing the channel knob. And I spent the last five years looking for one, and I finally got it. In that time, I'd only seen two of them on eBay. I think one sold for 80 and one maybe 90-something, uh, which at the time was a little more than I thought was <laughs> rational to spend. Since then, uh, I've come to realize that, yeah, that's just what you got to pay. Uh, so the other day, uh, somebody, I guess, parted out a Princess or a Siesta model, and they sold all four knobs. And it was a buy it now of $65, and I just pounced on it immediately. So here it is. No reproductions of this have ever been made. It's actually metal. The little red indicator. It's a little worse for wear, but hey, I'm very happy to have it. As for the other three knobs, I don't actually need them, so I'll probably just put them right back up on eBay. and may end up breaking even or make a little profit on it. Now this set does not work. This is also the first set I tried to restore, and I quickly realized I was in over my head and I switched to doing some easier projects, but I will get back to it. Now, as for the tandem sets, a couple updates here. One, I ordered up three sets of reproduction knobs. I'll uh, put a link in the description of where I got these. Very nice quality. So I got two sets of brown for each of my mahogany tandem sets and one of the blonde and uh, it may look odd that these don't have any printing on them but that is how the originals were so this is the one that I sort of just trailed off on uh, I did spend a bit of time refinishing the cabinet and I finished restuffing one of the circuit boards and then I was working on the main chassis which had some rust I had to replace a bad socket and so on well, I'm glad I paused. In fact, I wish I had paused a lot sooner because of what's in this box which just arrived. What should be in here is one of these. No legs, no CRT, just the box with the chassis, the back, and so on. So what I wanted to use this for is parts to fix these two. If you recall, the blonde one is in amazing all original condition inside but the CRT connector on the back is broken. So I'm hoping I can scavenge one out of this set. And depending on the condition of the cabinet or the chassis or whatever, I will use other parts on this to restore this one. In fact, although I put a lot of work into this cabinet, if this one's in better condition, I think I'll go with this one and that one. I don't know, I'll sell it or give it away or something like that. So if you recall this one, had been in a bit of a fire. I mean the set didn't catch on fire but it was near a fire and it got a little bit damp and this edge had got a little damage which I pretty well took care of uh, but the bottom piece, this piece of masonite, got wet and swelled up and my plan was to dampen it and clamp it down and try to salvage it but I don't need to do that anymore because I got the one out of here so, if this cabinet's really good, I'll use this one and just use the legs from the set. Uh, same goes for the front, although the front's in pretty good condition. You know, I'll just, I'll, whichever one's in better condition, that's what I'll go with. So, let's pop this box open and see what's actually in there. The seller did uh, shoot me a few photos before I bought it from him. Um, but, uh, it did not show the inside. So, I'm kind of curious to see what condition it's really in. I just pop the top off the box and I can see that it's upside down. Uh, huh, I wonder what this is. Maybe the seller included a bonus item, I'm not sure. So here's that masonite bottom I was talking about. It's in great condition. Hmm, I'm curious to see what's in here.
Aside from the paint, this cabinet is in really nice condition. Really nice grain to it, and other than a few scuffs, it's actually in pretty good, pretty good shape. I don't think there's any reason to refinish this, assuming this comes off. It's got all the knobs, but grill cloth's a little mangy, so like I was saying, I might uh, use the front from the other set. Well, like I said, maybe I didn't need to get one of those sets of reproduction knobs, it's got a whole set. And it's got the antenna, but it's uh, pretty miserable. In fact, if I straighten this out, I think it's just going to break right off from all the metal fatigue. But it does have the base here, so perhaps I can take off the telescoping part and replace it. Don't know. Back. There's a CRT connector. Looks to be in fine condition. Back's a bit shoot up. So let's take a look inside. I brought the set into another room with better lighting and I just took the back off. So yeah, this definitely looks to be in good shape. I just hope it's uh, exactly the same style as the other one. I've seen uh, two slightly different chassis variations amongst my sets. Alright, well, here's the socket that was bad on my other one. This one looks to be fine, and I don't see any corrosion, just dusty and dirty. Where's the opera tubes gone? Let's see down inside there. Looks like the rest of the tubes are present. Looks to be in decent shape, other than a big fuzzball down in there. Hopefully, there weren't any rodents living in this. Speaker looks to be fine. And so, I'll pull the chassis out, take a closer look at it. Now, as for that little bag, that turns out to be half of the legs. So here's a cross member, and then two legs. These pegs would go into the ends there, and there should be one of these on the back and one on the front, so. <sighs> kind of a shame, because I don't know who would, uh, well, maybe somebody out there's got some spare legs, I don't know. Now, if you're thinking it's uh, amazing that I scored this, keep in mind that no doubt there are far more cabinets than there are good CRTs and cables. I, I think I remember seeing one guy who was selling off a few predictor sets, and he had like three or four of these stacked up in a storage unit. No legs, just, you know, cabinet on top of cabinet. I really like this finish. It's uh, not much alligator ring to it, and it's got a really nice feel to it. So I really hope I can get this out. Maybe do a light sanding, put on a fresh coat or two of lacquer, which will take care of these scuffs. It pained me to do it, but this antenna was barely hanging on by a sliver. One little wiggle and it just fell right off. So, Oh well. So here is the chassis, and other than this tube missing, it looks to be 100% original. Tubes have been replaced of course, but I mean, uh, no recapping, no evidence of repairs. Let's take a peek underneath. So the fusible resistor on the top side looks to be intact, as is the filament surge thermistor. And this might actually be okay too, although I see that nasty green corrosion. It's always a bad sign. And uh, I don't see any repairs under here either. And I also don't think any rodents were living in this. I think they're just some dust bunnies. All right, so yeah, I uh, again just like the cabinet. It's painful for me to say it, but I don't see any reason to restore the continue restoring that other chassis. I'll restore this one. Now I may use the circuit board that I recapped in this set, 
but I'm not gonna restore that chassis. I may just pop that board into this one because this this one's in uh, much better condition, and I'll just uh, part out the other one for any spare parts I may need. So when will I get back to actually working on these sets again? Well, I don't know. I definitely want to finish off a couple Philco radios first. The 3862 and 60MB. Uh, maybe not refinish the 60MB, but I want to get the chassis working. I'm actually almost done with it, as you'll see in an upcoming video. Uh, and then I want to finish that GE set, which is very close to being done. And, uh, and we'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed this update on my predictor sets. Actually, this video is not quite over yet. I decided to go ahead and do a little more work on this. So, I took the legs off of the other cabinet and put them onto this one. So, now this is what the finished set will more or less look like. Now, what I want to try doing is get this off. To do so, I'm going to try using some steel wool and some mineral spirits as a lubrication. I could probably use water too, um, just as long as it doesn't hurt the finish, so they don't want to use lacquer thinner or anything like that. And I don't want to use Howard's because uh, it's got a tint to it, and I don't want to alter this color at all because it looks quite nice. So, um, and as far as the uh, braiding it, yeah, it's going to make the surface dull where I go over with the steel wool, but my plan is to actually lightly sand down this whole thing and then put on some fresh lacquer to uh, take care of this crazing and fill in any voids. Uh, most of it's not too bad, but I, I notice in this area it's kind of like a spider web of alligatoring. It was actually rather easy to get that paint off. I did switch over to 600 grit sandpaper then, rather than steel wool in a few areas though. Uh, something else I noticed while working on this is that I'm pretty darn sure that this is a photo finish or a faux finish rather than actual veneer. Which is odd because in my other two mahogany tandem cabinets it's definitely veneer. I mean you guys, if you watched the earlier videos you saw me repairing the veneer. Um, but, uh, this sure looks like some kind of fake finish with a thick layer of what I presume is lacquer over it. Eh, but it's fine with me, because it's in really good condition. So, uh, I want to do a little more sanding. I'll get a, a block out so I can make it nice and level and get all these high spots down and... Then I'm going to try it in a small test area to put some new lacquer on it. Because I'm not a hundred percent sure this is lacquer, but I'm pretty darn sure it is. Uh, I just I want to make sure that there aren't any finishing compatibilities. And as for the antenna, uh, I'll just uh, transplant the one from the other set. This is the uh, the other cabinet. I've been working on, so this will fit in here just fine. It's pretty grungy, but uh, I think it'll clean up nice. Those of you keeping score at home may know that I now have four predicted tandem carcasses. The blonde I got recently that was smashed after an eBay purchase and I just got the base units. And of course there's the base unit I just got with the legs transplanted from this set which had been damaged in a fire. And then there's the fourth set which is currently in storage and that's the one that I found at a vintage resale shop that had the cable clipped off of it. So my goal is to make three functional sets in three different styles from these parts. So here's the blonde. I just put on the reproduction blonde knobs. They look and work great. And this one, as I 
showed in an earlier video is in great condition even has the original antenna except for the broken high voltage CRT connector so I hope to salvage one from probably the chassis that was in this set because it's the grungiest and I think I'll just part it out and then of course there's the one I just got which has somewhat tattered grill cloth so I was thinking I might take the the whole panel from this set, which does come out fairly easily, put it into this guy. This cabinet, well, now that I've gotten the paint off of it, is looking pretty good. I'll sand the top a bit more and spray on some clear gloss lacquer. It should look quite nice. And I'll touch up the front, which is real mahogany, just needs some touch up. Which brings us to this. Now, the one that I have in storage, I believe, is also an identical cabinet with real mahogany veneer. But as memory serves, that one may be in good enough condition that I can salvage the original finish. And if I can, I will definitely go with that one. If it turns out to be in worse condition than this one, then maybe I will keep this one after all and put that chassis into this set. At any rate, the goal is to make three fully functional sets. Also, this set, uh, I did have the antenna. I spent a little time cleaning it up. Unfortunately, Philco also went a bit cheap on the antennas in that the outermost tube is not solid brass, I don't think. I think it was steel that was clear-coated with like a yellowish lacquer. But the innermost sections are actually brass. So I can polish these up real nice, so when they're extended they look good, but this tube, not so much. But at any rate, <laughs> it's an antenna. I uh, just noticed there's somebody selling one on eBay, I think it has a buy it now, of $295 or best offer. Uh, that's, I think, a little bit extreme. These may be hard to find, but I don't think they're worth 300 hours. But hey, good luck to him. So that's it for my update. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at my predictive projects and their current status.